everyone and welcome to day one of the Germany vlogs. Uh, day one is usually the, uh, well, it, it always is the uh, travel, but this time, as opposed to going to Italy and Spain, this is an overnight flight. So technically this is day zero, if you will. Well, actually, it's this day. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. But, yeah, uh, it is time to leave. Uh, I believe we're about to take off, even though I'm not exactly sure if we are or not. I'm sure within the next couple minutes we are, but, uh, sorry if this whispering bothers you, but I'm trying to uh, keep quiet. For the convenience of people around me, but uh, uh, I've been wanting to go to Germany for four years now, and I am so happy that I get the opportunity now to go to what I think will be a very wonderful uh, country, and uh, so I can't wait to finally be up in the air and uh, take off. I believe when we start to turn, that's pretty much when we're going to be able to. But taking off in the plane is always a really good experience. I did want to get a bit of footage in between um, leaving and getting to this point, but uh, there were a couple points where I thought that I would, but it didn't quite work out. And plus, the two of us were a bit stressed because we thought we left a bit later, but or a bit too late, but turns out we didn't. So we were all good in the end. decided that on this overnight flight, one of the movies I'm going to watch. So I'm going to watch that, and then I'm going to watch a couple other things. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Uh, Pulp Fiction is not an available movie, even though I would love to watch it again and uh, watch it in German. But uh, we live in an imperfect world, so can't do that. All right, here we go. One of my favorite parts of the whole trip. Sometimes it's cool to uh, just look at the sun. 
subdivision or the separate subdivisions in the uh, city you depart from and the city you arrive in. That's one of the things I really like is I really like to look at subdivisions. I don't know why, it's one of my weird things, but I just do. to the terminal for the next few minutes. If you would please keep your seatbelts fastened and all of your luggage stayed until the aircraft is safely parked at the gate and our captain turns off the seatbelt sign that will be your indication that it's safe for you to stand and collect all of your, all of your personal items. Please remember to use caution when opening overhead compartments to avoid injury from items that may have shifted during landing. If you do require further assistance with ground transportation or baggage lane, please direct all of these questions to the Uniform Customer Service representative that will be getting our flight. On behalf of your Atlanta-based flight attendants, it's been our pleasure having the opportunity to serve you. We do appreciate your business with Delta, and we wish all of you safe travels to your final destination. Have a pleasant morning. So, we made it uh, off the flight okay. Got our bags all right. And... Uh, now we're just walking around 
where our hotel is. Apparently there's a park around here. We've been told, but I don't know. Oh. Well then, yeah. Well, I guess we'll be going into the park. Uh, but yeah, we took a four hour nap when we got to the hotel pretty much since I just almost physically cannot sleep on a plane to save my life. So, uh, there's that. So, we're in a uh, grocery store and uh, I have this Google Translate app that lets you scroll over anything. That, and uh, it basically tells you it's incredible. So that's whole milk chocolate. This is probably white chocolate. Yep. Is this vegan chocolate? Can't quite tell. But it's pretty good. Pretty good. Here's how the sap can definitely save you. It's uh, transportation, uh, trade fairs, and the banks. The banks, so I should put actually on the on, on the first place, uh, because uh, the Frankfurt is a seat for 300 uh, different uh, uh, international and national banks. The German Federal Bank is located in Frankfurt, and the Central European Bank. Uh, the last one is the one uh, setting the monetary policy for the entire Europe, uh, entire Eurozone, yeah? for our Euro money. Uh, and uh, uh, Frankfurt uh, trade fairs. Oh, no, it's, it's a very nice view coming up with a beautiful skyline. Is that the Rhine? Uh, this is a mine. Mine, okay. Yeah, this is a mine. Why? It's fra it's called Frankfurt a um, mine. Okay. So this is a mine river. So, and uh, yes, uh, trade fairs. Uh, and I'm sure that everyone could hear about uh, at least uh, automobile fair, a very famous one going on in Frankfurt. Then uh, book mess as well, book fair and the music fair. So the three biggest one. And of course the transportation. Uh, Frankfurt uh, Airport is the biggest one in uh, uh, in Germany, and one biggest one of the biggest one in Europe as well. The big transportation hub. Uh, and generally speaking, about about uh, the transportation among the different uh, towns of Germany as well. Absolutely fantastic infrastructure. Fantastic. You can literally go with a train from one little village uh, to another one, you know, in Germany. Speed trains are very efficient, clean, and uh, yeah, so using uh, trains very, very convenient in Germany. Of Adenauer as well, so he was born over there. Nowadays, Bonn is also uh, housing a lot of governmental uh, um, offices and uh, institutions. It's the second uh, capital of Germany, so still some government institutions are located over there. So we are going to pass Bonn as well on our tour. Did you say that Frankfurt was in East Germany? No, it wasn't East Germany. No, it wasn't. It wasn't.
So the currency here is euro currency and uh, later on I will tell you a little bit more in details about this currency, why a uh, different picture as depicted on the, on the banknotes and what does it mean. And in Germany, please remember, very important, that toilets are not free of charge, oh. which is very shocking for the foreigners always. <laughs> yes, but so we have to pay for the toilets here and expect to pay about 50 euro cents or so, they have a different system. Sometimes it's 70 euro cents, but uh, then when you pay 70, you will get a coupon for 50 back and when you are buying later on something at the gas station, you will be redeemed for 50 euro cents, okay? Which means that you pay only 20. But toilets are very clean, so those for 70 euro cents, they are very clean, hygienic, they are washing themselves, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun as well. So people usually say, they are always wondering about this type of the facilities they've never seen before. Will that include the restaurants we visit? The, uh, the question is if it includes the restaurants we, we are visiting, no. So if you are eating at the restaurants, that you are not paying. Only with some exception in Bavaria. They are really, really ridiculous over there because sometimes in Bavaria you are a guest of the restaurant and then you are coming down and some ladies like collecting the money and say, come on. But yeah, normally not. Normally not. And also if you cannot see any public uh, toilets uh, close by, then um, you can use any restaurants. But when you are coming, just as a guest, not consuming anything, you are just leave them 50 euro cents and you can use any restaurant. Okay? So it was a house like with the apothecary, for example. So like it was a slave, you know. Like they had the symbols, but only later. Thank <laughs> you. 
And now we are crossing into the uh, area which uh, called Sachsenhausen, which is very famous for the local pubs and uh, and the restaurants. There are many of them in this area. <clears throat> so next time you are in Frankfurt. So some guys uh, they went to the area today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was nice. Very nice. Yes, yeah. very nice. So what is your first impression of Europe, of, uh, of Frankfurt, post-COVID? Mm. It's so, wonderful. Yeah. It's wonderful, just to be on the tour. Yes, I am with yes. you. I am totally with you, yes. It's very wonderful, yeah. So I, I would say that still like the sample, especially the hospitality industry, unfortunately, they kind of uh, very strange nowadays, you know, because uh, they uh, unfortunately they understaffed very much so they don't they have a really such a lack of stuff uh, everywhere in the hotels like for example our hotel yesterday i i have heard that uh, many of you arrived yesterday and i arrived late already around 11 uh, p.m and i came and the bar is closed i said why is the bar is closed he said well oh, because we have no one like to work in you know oh, yeah. yes and it's yeah. everywhere in europe so they really have a lack of stuff therefore please be uh be pleased like they tolerate it you know because i know that we get to used to do different service uh, what i realized this year that it's totally different especially in germany you know because germany is such a sufficient uh country in everything in the midst of services always was amazing everything is is working as a watches you know uh, now it's so different, so different, and especially in the means of uh, professionals, you know, and uh, well, so what can we do? Just to wait, maybe another year so it will improve and uh, they will be able to get uh, the people back, you know, because uh, after the two years of pandemic, so a lot of people from hospitality, they just went uh, and they found a job somewhere else. And perhaps people, they are afraid to go back to hospitality, you know, because they do not know what to expect <laughs> from right. the next season, I mean, from, from September. Mm -hmm. So there are still rumors everywhere in those countries that it will be another lockdown. So I, I, I'm afraid to believe it, but so there are the talks about this. Dinner is over. It is time to uh, wrap up 
today. Uh, by the way, I didn't do a little uh, MTV Cribs thing uh, like I usually do in these vlogs, like I did in Gatlinburg last year and like I did at the Grand Canyon. And I believe I did maybe in Spain and Italy as well, but because we're only staying in this this one night uh, tonight, and then tomorrow morning uh, we're gonna leave. Also, it's because uh, throughout the day today I've been half asleep. Uh, we a have actually I've slept five and a half hours uh, throughout the uh, day, and I'm still kind of tired, but. In case you're curious, here's a little view from the hotel room. So, yeah. Uh, that will do it for me today. Uh, day two will have a more energized me, and we'll be doing a lot more things. Uh, it's gonna be a scenic uh, boat in the morning, so uh, breakfast is probably gonna be the first clip uh, in tomorrow's video, and then it's gonna be a boat trip to go to Cologne. Of course, as you might have heard earlier in the video, this is Frankfurt, so, uh, we might, I believe we fly out of here uh, on the way out, but yeah, uh, that'll do it for me today. And so yes, guys, I do believe that that will do it for day one. I will see you all later. Goodbye, guys. Thank you all for watching.